Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Options Learning Center. My name is Rick Orford, and I've been a stock and options trader since 1999. And today, I'm excited to show you how to buy long call butterflies and use bar chart to get the most out of the strategy. The long call butterfly spread is a neutral option strategy where the investor expects the underlying security to trade within a specific range. The trade requires four call options, two of which are at the same strike price on the same underlying asset and with the same expiration date. The strategy works best if you expect the asset will trade with low volatility until expiration. For that reason, you could consider trading a long call butterfly after a big event, such as an earnings or news release, after the volatility has already been baked into the underlying securities price. The maximum profit condition happens if the asset's price ends at exactly the middle strike price. However, you'll also make a profit so long as the underlying trades between the break-even points at expiration. To set up the trade, you'll buy one call at a lower strike price, sell two calls at a middle strike, and buy one call at the highest strike. All options will have the same underlying asset and expiration date, with the strike prices equally spaced. The result is a bull call and a bear call spread that results in a net debit. The goal of the long call butterfly is for the underlying assets price to trade at exactly the middle strike price at expiration. If that happens, you'll achieve maximum profit at expiration when the options settle. The maximum profit on a long call butterfly is the difference between the middle strike and either of the outer strike prices minus the net debit. The maximum loss is limited to the net debit paid at the start of the trade and happens if the asset's price at expiration either trades below the lowest strike price or above the highest strike price. Now I'll show you how to look for long call butterflies using bar chart. First, if you aren't already there, let's visit barchart.com. Then click on the options menu at the top. Then look for a long call butterfly to the right of the categories. Once you click that, you'll be brought to the results page where you can immediately see the long call butterfly trades based on the default filters, which is already a good start for most traders. From here, you'll get all the most important trade details like expiration dates, strike prices, premiums, max profits and losses, and the probability of profit right here. You can click on any of these columns to change their arrangement. For example, I'll click on max profit to arrange it from highest to lowest. These are already a good selection of potential trades, but if you need to tweak the search parameters, click the set filters tab right here, and you'll be brought to the options screener page. On this page, you can type in the filter you want on the Add Filter field, and then you can click on Add. Now, if you don't know what you're looking for, you can click on the drop down here and select what you need. The filters include stock and options information like options analysis, underlying prices, and trading details, and technicals. Everything you might think you need to fully customize your trade is right here. Of course, you can also remove filters that you don't want or need. The rest of the values are there by default and work best as a starting point, but you can change them any way you like. For example, let's scroll down to the probability of profit. As the name suggests, this filter shows the chances of you profiting from the trade even by one cent. This happens if the underlying security trades between the break-even points by expiration. Maximum profit, however, is rather unusual, as it'll happen only if the underlying asset trades at a precise point at expiration. So let's say you want to look for trades with profit probabilities of higher than 50%, even if it's just by one penny. Well, I can set it to above 50% and then click on See Results. Then I'll click on the Probability of Profit column to change it from highest to lowest. 
And there we go. We have a list of potential trades that we can use. Now, we could take the top trade, which is on Tesla, but I think for this video, I'll take the second best, which is an Apple trade, which has a similar profit probability. The payout ratio is only 0.5 to 1, which means your maximum profit is about half the maximum loss. Now, before we get into the trade details, let me show you how you can save your screener to reuse it later. Just click the Save Screener here at the top right, then type in the name of the screener. At the bottom, you can also have Bar Chart email you at a specified time with your trades. It's that easy. Okay, so now that's done, let's move on to the trade example. According to the screener, you can set up a long call butterfly spread on Apple, with the stock currently trading at $231.78 at the time of recording. Here's how the trade would work. You first buy the $200 strike call for your lower long call, paying a premium of $32.35 per share. Then you sell two $225 strike calls, collecting $7.85 per share each. Finally, you buy the $250 strike call, paying $0.07 cents per share. This setup results in a net debit of $16.72 per share, or $1,672 per contract. Your maximum profit on the trade is $8.28 per share. All options expire on October 25th, with 8 days remaining until expiration. And the trade has a 55.9% chance of profit. Now for this strategy, I find it best knowing the break-even points on the upside as well as the downside when monitoring the trade. Now, bar chart gives you the break-even points, but if you want to calculate it yourself, you can add the net debit to the lower strike to get the downside break-even price. For the upside break-even, subtract the net debit from the higher strike. And that gives you the break-even points of $216.72 on the lower end and $233.28 on the upper end. Now, suppose everything works out and Apple's price trades at exactly $225 at expiration. If that's the case, you'll get the maximum profit for this trade. And that's calculated by taking the difference between the outer and middle strike price, known as the width of the spread, and then subtracting the net debit. And that brings us to $8.28 a share, or $828 per contract. However, if Apple stock's trading price exceeds the long call strikes in either direction, this long call butterfly will end at a maximum loss. Again, maximum loss is the debit paid at the start of the trade, which is $16.72 a share, or $1,672 total. Here's a profit and loss table for different prices to give you a better idea of the potential results on this trade. As you can see, the maximum profit is only achieved at one price point, and that's if Apple stock trades at exactly $225 at expiration. But the trade will also result in a profit as long as the stock trades between the break-even points by expiration, and it'll result in a loss when it breaches the upper or lower break-even points again at expiration. So that's screening the entire market for assets to use for long-call butterfly trades. But what if you have a specific stock in mind? Well, you can do that too in a couple of easy steps. First, if you aren't already there, let's go to barchart.com, then search for the asset using the search bar. For example, we could type in Tesla right here. Once on the stock's profile page, navigate to the left and look for butterfly spreads. Then, click the Long Call Butterfly tab to see the trade search results. You can click on the drop-down to change the expiration dates, change trade legs, rearrange each column, or click the Screen button, then set the filter to reach the Options Screener page for a more granular search. It's always a good idea to close your positions right before expiration when using any strategy that requires writing or selling options. For this example, you have two short positions in the trade at the same strike price, and if they're in the money by expiration, the option will be automatically exercised, or in your perspective, you'll be assigned. 
If any of the short calls do get assigned, you'll be obligated to sell 100 shares of stock for every contract you wrote. And this means you might need to purchase the shares at the current market price, which could be higher than the strike price, and then sell them at the strike price, potentially resulting in a loss. You can also sell your long call positions to capture any remaining value, which will help mitigate some of your losses. But keep an eye out for trading fees, as they might make buying shares from the market preferable. Like all spreads, the long call butterfly has a defined profit and loss profile, which means you know what you're getting into at the setup. Also, like all debit spreads, it has a potentially higher profit than credit spreads. Lastly, this strategy is perfect in low volatility trading environments. However, like all spreads, your potential profits are limited. It's also a three-legged strategy with four active options trades, so it's a bit more complex than, say, buying a long call. Since it has four trades, there's a potential for increased trading fees and commissions. You also need pinpoint prediction for long call butterflies if you want the maximum profit potential, since that'll only happen at one price point. And this could be difficult, as slippage can affect the trade. The long call butterfly is an excellent strategy for neutral and low volatility markets. However, its very limited profit range, low chances of profitability, and multiple trade legs can take a bite out of your bottom line. That's why monitoring your trades closely and utilizing all resources, including Bar Chart's option screener, is essential to maximize your profitability. If you need more information, visit the Options Learning Center. You can also find other options trading strategies broken down into their working parts, so that you know exactly what you need for trading.